So the first thing you do is rewrite it. So cosecant is one over which function? Sine. So step one, you do this, right? Rewrite it like this. That's the first step. Then you have to think about when this is undefined. That's going to happen when the denominator is equal to zero. <laughs> so that means that sine 2x equals zero, right? Because you're, you're trying to find out when this is undefined. So you always just take this and set it equal to zero. Okay. Ignore everything else. Now you have to use the formula. Remember the formula was sine x equals zero is the same as x equals k pi, where k is an integer. So in this case, it's not x, it's 2x. So you take 2x and you set it equal to k pi. Okay, and then to finish, you just divide by 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2. So we get x equals k pi over 2. Now I had mentioned that you're supposed to say where k is an integer. Uh, I'll show you a shortcut. Why not? You're supposed to learn stuff. It's college. So you can do the following. You can say, where put a comma and then just say k, and then you do this symbol here like this. It means is an element of or belongs to, and then you draw this fancy z like that. So that's an acceptable answer. That's a comma. So so what does this mean? So this means is in belongs to, is a member of, and this set, this set is this, it's equal to the set, as dot dot dot, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, dot dot dot. This is the set of integers, set of integers, this is not in the book, set of integers. Um, the reason that we use the word Z, the letter Z, it comes from German. I don't speak German, but according to Wikipedia, the, anyone know what the German word for numbers is? Zahlen. That's how you say it. It has to sound scary, so Zahlen. Yeah, so that's the German word for numbers, or is Zahlen. Uh, the German word for numbers is Zahlen, and so historically, they use Z, because the Germans created a lot of mathematics, right? So a lot of, a lot of the math uh, symbols come, come from, from those places, right? There's, the mathematical language, languages are um, French, German, and Russian. Those are the math languages. So like if you get a PhD at a, at a good school, you have to learn one of those languages. 